Hi everybody, this is Juhi again, Jawahar, um, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some calming strategies and some coping strategies um, that our kids have to deal with, and I just thought that I will come up with some, some cards, um, and these cards, they can be made and they can be shown as a visual prompt for our kids to calm down. So uh, these are just some ideas. You can use these ideas and you can show it to the kids that you're working with or the adults that you're working with. Um, and you could just show it to them that, you know, hey guys, you know what, these are some of the ideas that you can use um, uh, to calm yourself down, right? So what are some of the strategies that can be used to calm yourself down, um, to relax yourself? Um, so the first strategy that you could, you know, talk about is do some deep breathing exercises and then you know you could also model it with them so it could be like a so this is something that you can do with the client so one of them is doing deep breathing exercises uh, and you can also practice it with them while um, you could put on some uh, you know mindful meditation on and along with that with some nice yoga music you can um, do these videos with the clients or with the uh, kids or with the adults that you're working with. The next one is take a five minute mental break and read a book. So for our, some of our kiddos who are getting really irritated um, or really worked up, this is also a really cool strategy that can be worked on, which is take a five minute break. Let's read a book. Let's get a drink of water. So this is another thing. So basically what happens is that once a child gets involved into a series of actions where, you know, they are not able to stop that, um, that's where, you know, most of the behavioral issues, they come into place. Um, and it's extremely important to make the children or the clients or the kids or the adults we are working with realize that when is it time for them to take a break and then to gather themselves and then come back so for that these are such verbal prompts that we can use with with them another verbal uh, visual prompt that can be used with them is play with the elastic bands on your wrist that's a really cool one right because even like when I get stressed out uh, what I've seen is that if I uh, if I just fiddle with some stuff or if I just um, use some activities that are that use my motor skills I kind of calm down so it's just like a habit that I have or I've developed think of your favorite joke Ooh, that's a cool one you know you can make them think of their favorite joke because that would break the cycle of the uh, aggressive or the behavior that is like the angry behavior and that's what we want do some stretches at your desk that's another one so like if the um, you know if the client is at their home um, at, at the school at the day program if they are at anywhere you know you could always ask them hey you know what let's do some stretch stretches and if you go back over here there are pictures of some stretches that can be prompted for the kid or the client to do and next is going to be if you need a to went, write it out. So with some of our clients, they're really good at writing out. Um, I know I am because if I'm really angry or upset or sad, uh, something that really helps me is writing out. So I usually write out my thoughts and that really helps me ground myself or calm myself down. So with some of our clients, they can start writing down what is making them upset. Try squeezing your stress ball. So this is another one that you can do, which is try to squeeze your stress ball. So some of our clients might have stress balls um, or we could give it to them. And there was another video that I did in which I talked about how to make the uh, melting monsters. Um, and you know what? That's one of the things that can be squished. Then you can get a stress ball and there are tons of stress balls available these days. The next one is going to be practice positive self-talk and the positive self-talk that they're talking about is actions say and do what is in your own best interest self-talk I have a right to feel good I choose to feel good and feelings happy loving joyful and satisfaction 
So this is all going to be, and this is what you're going to prompt them before, which is stop, think, pick a plan, and then stop and think, is the worth getting, in, it's not worth getting into trouble, then choose a plan to manage your anger. So I think this is a really, really good, um, you know, strategy to use with your kids and to teach them that these are some of the things that they can, um, you know, adapt or use and not be angry. So I do hope that these, uh, these ideas, they helped you um, and these visual aids helped you. Uh, please reach out to me or write down in my YouTube channel and I will keep on bringing more ideas. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.